Hey, it's Ella. Thank you for being here with me. Um, I don't know what to talk about right now <laughs> because today has been epically long and a lot of things kind of transpired. So, um, so I guess really also my hair, <laughs> I was out in the rain. Uh, so my hair is now in a weird state of not really wet, not really dry, but somewhere in between, uh, whatever, like, like you care, you don't care. I don't care. So why am I talking about it? I don't know. Um, so just came from, uh, Kirtan and it was a Shiva celebration and it was so good. It was so nourishing and just, it was just good, just really good. So, um, we had an early dinner and, um, went over to the other, uh, there's a, another resort with another training going on. Um, and I will say <laughs> that that place actually looks like a resort. <laughs> Nothing, you know, not to dog on this place, but, um, uh, it's not fancy at all, but the other place is quite fancy, um, and beautiful grounds. Like I, I actually wish I had, you know, caught myself in time while it was still daylight to take some video of that location because wow, it's just, it's gorgeous. So, but anyway, um, so, uh, anyway, there's, so there's another training going on at a different, um, place. And so we went over there to join them for Kirtan. And so our yoga tra teacher training teacher deep, um, he was there playing drums. Um, and then the other, um, yoga teacher was also there. And we didn't really meet him. It was more just like just a gathering of all of us. And the reason was Shiva celebration for Kirtan. Um, and then their medit so it was led by their meditation teacher and he and deep our yoga teacher training teacher are very good friends. So they've worked together a lot and they've known each other for a long time. And so it was really cool. It was really neat to watch, to kind of just watch our teacher in his kind of in his element, you know? Um, and it was actually relatively low key, um, as compared to some kirtans that I've attended. And, um, and at one, you know, at one point it got pretty like, uh, I don't know, boisterous, I guess you could call it, you know, where everybody was up and dancing. Um, but that was kind of in the middle. So um, the beginning was a little slower. The end was very slow, nice, a nice way to kind of ease into um, Friday evening. Um, and so anyway, it was just good. It was really nice. It was nice to kind of get out. Um, <laughs> we've been joking, like leave the compound, <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, we're just here. Like we leave our rooms in the morning. We go to the shala for yoga study all day. Literally some people get to the shala before 6am and we don't finish until dinner begins at 6.45pm. So basically, you know, if it takes you 15, 20 minutes to eat, you're done by like after seven. So it's a pretty much a 13 hour day. And, um, so, you know, there's, and it's, and that's six days a week. So you, there's literally, there's no energy or time to go. I mean, if you're me anyway, there's no energy or time to do anything else except what I'm here for, what I paid to be here for. So, um, some of the, some of the, the young, younger kids, um, are 
you know, they're popping out to go eat at different places or to go shopping on like lunch hour, basically. (laughs) And I'm just, you know, which I think it's cool. And I, I kind of wish that I had the energy to do that, but I also know myself well enough to know that if I did that, it would, it would pull me away from what I'm really here for. Um, and then it would take me more time than I want to kind of reset so that I could kind of enter back into the training. So, you know, so that's kind of, so I'm like, you know, y'all go have fun and, and I'll, I'll be the old fogey who's crawling into bed. <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, also, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that if there is dancing that's going to happen where I am, I'm going to get up and dance because I love to dance so much. And, you know, even if my body is like, excuse me, excuse me, no, we're tired, you know, um, chances are pretty good. I'm going to override that at least for a short while. So anyway, um, yeah. So it was a wonderful evening, a wonderful ending to just a seriously intense week. Um, this morning was a different story. (laughs) This morning was not great. Uh, this morning was really tough. First of all, I stayed up too late last night trying to get videos uploaded that I was late. I was like behind, um, getting them uploaded. So I I stayed up too late trying to do that and trying to go through and like put little, um, identifiers on all of them and stuff like that. So that as we're kind of going back, you know, after this training is over, when we are coming back and going through the videos so that we'll have, it's like, you can just look at the description, the title essentially of the video and know exactly what it's about. Um, anyway. Um, so I was up to, and then, and then I got lost in like stupid, stupid, stupid Instagram world looking at all things related to yoga and ended up, uh, ended up, finding like seeing so many people with terrible alignment, you know, and they have these fancy, you know, Instagram accounts with a huge following and they have terrible alignment. And I'm like, great. I hope this person's not a teacher, you know? (laughs) Um, so anyway, so this morning I was very sluggish I was cranky. I was just feeling some kind of way. And then we got into pranayama, which is essentially breath work, um, different types of breathing. And what it does essentially is kind of unlock, it unlocks blockages in your body, which is healthy and very good and can be really challenging when stuff comes up that you don't know was, you know, you didn't know was there or whatever. So, um, so I had something pretty big come up for me and, um, it's, it's just weird to have, it's weird to have this feeling, um, alongside, other feelings like commingling feelings. So I'll, I'll describe what I'm talking about. Um, so I have always been overweight since I was a little girl, um, my whole life basically. And even when I was super fit, when I was 17, okay. When it's easy to be super fit, right? It's easy. Everything physical is easy when you're 17. So back when I was 17 and I was super fit, I still had, I still had a belly above my belly button and I still had a belly below my belly button. So double belly, a pooch and a paunch. So I've always had that. And it's, from what I can tell, it's hereditary in that my, my mom's side and my dad's side both have 
things, things like that. So, um, anyway, but I've always had it always. And I have always wished that I had, um, you know, like the curvy body that, you know, women are quote unquote supposed to have. Like when you think of the divine feminine, you think of the curves, whatever. It's like, mm, my body just doesn't really do that. So, um, anyway, I, it's always been, it's, it's always been a longing that I've had and I have contorted my body, twisted my body and really just horribly mistreated my body over, over many years trying to get it to do that, trying to get it into a shape that quite frankly, it's just not going to go into. <laughs> and, um, for a long, long time, I hated my body. I mean, hated it. And, um, so those, those feelings all came up to the surface of like, I, you know, it's like, I just, I wish I could just accept my body as it is. And I, and I actually thought that I had, that's the thing that's kind of, it kind of tripped me up is like, I thought that I had accepted my body as it is, but, um, apparently not, not quite anyway. So, um, you know, I've, I've always struggled with twisting, with doing twists in yoga, but bef long before I started yoga practice, I struggled with twist, twists, twist of the spine. And, um, I've always struggled with like forward folds. Um, and because I always have had a belly and it's super frustrating and clothing. I have to be really selective with what clothing I wear because of that. Um, it's just, it's just always been this source of frustration for me for my whole life. Um, so that came up this morning with the, the breathing and it came up from my belly <laughs> and, um, you know, go figure. And, and it's like, it's frustrating because while I also still have this sense of frustration and, um, you know, I, it's obviously there's, um, you know, there's a lot there that I still haven't accepted. Um, I also feel in this deep sense of gratitude for what my body can do and for what it has done for me and for what, you know, the fact that like what I was saying in my video yesterday, that my body is, has gotten stronger and more flexible, like really quickly. And, um, just in the short time that I've been here, I can already feel and see significant differences in my body. It's significant to me. Okay. I mean, I'm, I am with my body all day long. So, you know, um, you know, it may not be obvious to everyone, but it is obvious to me. And, you know, so I'm incredibly grateful for all that I'm learning for the, the more that my body is able to do. And so it's just an odd juxtaposition of feelings there. Um, but this morning I was really, you know, it was quite sudden the way that it came up and then it just was overwhelming. And, um, and then the feeling came from my belly, but it moved up to this area. And so my shoulders and neck, like, you know, my, my traps, basically my shoulders and neck were so tight that I could hardly move. And it was incredibly painful. And then like my whole body just like, maybe my body was trying to send me a message. Um, it, you know, my whole body just was just inflamed with pain. My knees were hurting. My lower back was hurting. My, even like my feet were hurting and like 
my wrists were hurting, you know, just all my joints basically were, were really hurting, but it was pretty intense in my, in my shoulders and my neck. And so I told, um, deep our teacher about this and, you know, just about like, Oh, you know, my, the neck pain is, is pretty, it's, it's basically, it was kind of preventing me from being able to get into some poses and, you know, the tension, I should say. Um, and so he did a few things to try and, you know, work it loose or whatever. And it was not budging. <laughs> In fact, it was more intense with what he were, whatever he was doing. And I was like, Oh, stop. <laughs> and, um, and so then he's like, you need a headstand. And I was like, great. <laughs> fantastic. I have to do on another one of those. <laughs> so, um, so he said, you know, let's, let's do it before you eat breakfast. So, um, so nine o'clock comes and everybody clears out, you know, for breakfast. And so I'm kind of hanging around. So I stack, stack some blocks and, and I did it, um, with help. I got back into a headstand. Um, so, with blocks, you know, basically there were blocks stacked on the floor, um, on, you know, on either side of like where my head was. And so this is how we're, this is how we're doing the headstands because nobody in the class is ready for actually doing an, a real headstand. Um, but there are amazing benefits from actually being in a headstand. So, um, so it's, it's a shoulder supported headstand essentially. Um, so the, all of your, the weight of your body is, is falls here on your shoulders. And, um, so I, I stack, you know, stack the blocks and um, it takes four blocks on each side of your head, by the way, just, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> um, yoga blocks. Um, and so, you know, needed a little bit of help to get, uh, you know, get both legs up the wall. But then I was actually able to hold myself there for a short, a short time. And while I was there, I was like, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. And then I started to feel the blood like leaving my feet and I started to freak out a little bit. And I'm like, Oh, uh, this is really weird. I don't know how, I don't know. And then I realized that I was in fact holding myself up against the wall without any assistance. And, um, you know, the teachers actually kind of like had taken some steps away and I was like, ah, you know, it was like that kind of like that feeling of when you first start to ride your bike, um, without the training wheels, but you don't realize that the training wheels are not there anymore. Like you forget that, you know, it's like they were just taken off and, it's like, but you're balancing by yourself and you're like, whoa, this is cool. And then you realize that the training wheels are gone and, you, and then you fall over. You know, <laughs> that's pretty much what happened. As soon as I realized that I was holding myself up by myself, um, I started to fall out of the pose. So <laughs> pretty much. Um, but here's the wild thing that happened. Um, I felt better. Like as soon as I come out of the pose, so, you know, the, what you should do as soon as you come out of that pose is go right into child's pose and just hang out in child's pose for, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, however long. And, um, and so I did that and then I come up from child's pose and I was like, my, my neck and shoulders were completely released, totally free actually less, I was holding, I had less tension and like still now, actually, wow. There's, I mean, it's like, it's pliable. Like, I, oh my God, that's crazy. Um, that I have, I have held tension here for so many years of my life. I can't, I mean, I just don't even, I can't even tell you how many years. And this is so much, this is crazy. All from one headstand. Um, wow. I mean, it just released it like that. And so not only did I feel better physically, immediately, the joint pain was gone. 
the the neck and shoulder pain gone and completely loosened up. But also emotionally, I felt instantly better. And I was like, how does that, how does that happen? How does that actually work? I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I need to go back and read some more in the book that we, we have, um, our training manual, because, um, I'm just not sure. (sighs) I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm like, I, it just, it just, my mind is blown, honestly. Um, but apparently for someone like me who has the specific, um, health issues, I guess you could call it that I have where like, I have a very sensitive autoimmune system. So I don't have any diagnosed autoimmune disorders, no diagnosed thyroid problems. God knows I've had my thyroid checked um, in depth by multiple doctors. And every time they're like, nope, everything is normal. And I'm like, but it can't be because I know that something is off. You know, I do have nodules on my thyroid, um, which I am due to get those looked at again. But um, anyway... Um, but my autoimmune system is incredibly sensitive. And so, um, you know, and also like just that I have, I have weight that is just, it's very difficult for me to lose weight. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS some years ago. Um, you know, it's like, I just have certain things that, um, that I have to watch out for and be careful, you know, what I, you know, how I eat, what I eat, when I eat, all kinds of stuff. And so apparently the poses that I should do the most are actually the poses that are really a source of fear and anxiety for me. So they're poses that I'm scared of doing basically. So one of them is plow pose which I have gotten into. Um, so it's basically, yeah, I mean, you can look it up. It's, it's, it's a a simple pose. Kids do it all the time. Um, but I think I mentioned that, you know, I don't, I, I don't like being upside down. So plow pose is pretty fiercely upside down, honestly, like you're not actually upside down because your head is flat you know, like you lay your head flat on the, on the ground, but yeah, yeah, you really are upside down because you're the whole rest of your body is upside down, just not your head and your neck or your neck. But anyway, um, so plow pose and also supported headstand. Two poses that I should be doing basically all of the time, like almost every day. Um, are two poses that are very scary for me. So, (laughs) so isn't that interesting? I find that fascinating because to me that indicates that, you know, that, that, um, the very thing that will actually help me heal, like there's something in me that knows that. And so that's what makes it scary, you know? Um, anyway, so the rest of the day was fantastic. Um, i just learning, 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 learning so much. And it is so, I mean, it's just amazing. And all of the people attending this training are wonderful. I mean, there's not, there's, um, there's such, such varied, and amazing personalities in this training and everyone is precious and wonderful. And, um, what I thought was really interesting and I hesitated to actually say this on the video, but I I mean, I don't know. I don't think anybody, um, well, whatever, I'm just going to put it out there. Um, I will say that I feel, I felt that, being just commingling with the other group, 
that is in their training and they're a week ahead of where we are. So they're, they're basically almost done. Um, so co-mingling with them tonight, just in a very, you know, a very non-threatening way because there was no pressure to actually interact um, with them. It was really interesting because what I observed was that our group is actually more bonded and more confident as a collective than the other group. And I don't know if that's just because we came onto their turf, so to speak, you know, but I, it was a really interesting energetic feeling that I got. Um, I got, you know, from them, I was like, they seemed super curious about us yet also super reserved and shy and all of us were just sort of like, you know, like just happy to be there and happy to have the experience. And so, but also like our personalities were showing and definitely shining. And I, I just thought that was really interesting. So I don't know if that had to do with, you know, the fact that we were on their turf, so to speak, or if our group, as a collective is just extra special. And I mean, special, like really special, genuinely special. Um, I get the sense. So we've, we've been running behind a lot um, between like, um, you know, morning session will go long and then um, poor, uh, our poor philosophy teacher, VJ, he's, he keeps getting, he kind of keeps getting the short end of the stick because it's like the morning session goes long and then he is, he'll keep it right on like spot on time. Like he will end exactly on time. And then afternoon um, session, the anatomy goes long and Amira is doing, um, she's teaching the anatomy session. She's just like, I never, I never go after my time, never go long. I don't know what's going on. She's like, this class is just so fascinated and interested in everything. And they're asking so many questions. And I just like, you know, so um, I do feel like this group is special. I really do. I feel like, um, I feel like we do have a very special chemistry and that we have um, such a beautiful spectrum of ability and um, different areas of interest and background and just you name it, basically. So many. I mean, there's, there's just, it's incredibly diverse. It's one of the most diverse groups of people that I've been with in a long time. And I'm just learning. I'm just learning so much from everyone. And it is, I don't know. It's just great. It really is great. <laughs> so this is truly a life-changing experience. It is just, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, the quality of instruction is unmatched in my opinion. Granted, I only have, you know, a very narrow, um, um, you know, swath to draw from, but, um, I will also say this, I've taken a lot of yoga classes and there are a lot of teachers out there that just aren't great. <laughs> Sorry. I said it, but it's true that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to become a yoga teacher is because I'm like this, no, there, why, what is happening here? Like I want to do this because I want to, I want people to have a positive experience, not this horribleness that's going on right now. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, 
I was not going to talk for this long, but look, here I did, and I did it again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and end. Um, we actually have just one last thing. We actually have a half day tomorrow um, because we've spent so much time on anatomy. So um, tomorrow's session, we we are ending at one o'clock, and lo- we have lunch at one o'clock, basically. So, um, and then we have the rest of the day free. So, um, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I might actually take all my clothes to someplace to be properly laundered (laughs) instead of trying to wash stuff in the sink or worse, wash it in the shower, like while I'm still wearing it basically, because honestly, that's just easier. Um, you know, like washing my clothes every night, you know, whenever, um, uh, I come back to take a shower and it's like, I just scrub the clothes first and then take those off and rinse them and then, and then scrub my body. Um, you know, it's, it's efficient, but I'm not sure how clean the clothes are actually getting. <laughs> and then I have stuff that like, yeah, anyway, whatever my laundry woes are not your concern. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm like delirious at this point. I'm so tired. And I'm like, I'm looking at these, like this, this total sadness going on under my eyes here. And I'm like, man, um, I'm looking a little rough. (laughs) I definitely need some sleep. So, um, so I'm going to get this, get this upload started. It will probably take all night because the Wi-Fi is so slow. Um, and then I'm going to put myself to bed and I will definitely be uh, bringing you more tomorrow. So thanks so much for being here with me. Have a great evening.